opportunities in special education are very, very good, um, contrary to what a lot of people might believe. The U.S. Department of Labor, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, has estimated that there'll be over a 17% growth rate in the number of special educators between now and 2020. Uh, that figure is even better for early childhood special education teachers, with that figure being uh, up to 21%. Coming to Hofstra University and enrolling and graduating from our early childhood special education program and then getting certified in New York State gives graduates a number of different career opportunities. They can work with young children ages birth through three in early intervention, they can work as a preschool special education teacher for children ages three to five, and they can also work in elementary schools in kindergarten, first or second grade. The special education program here at Hofstra is, is diverse and it is extensive and in-depth, but at the same time, you know, it's small enough where we know everyone. But with only seven full-time faculty, we get to know all of our students. Uh, we have you know, a great student-run organization called SEGA, or the um, Special Education Graduate Association, and that provides a lot of community opportunities for our students. Um, preparation, I believe we are at the cutting edge of preparation for special educators you know, in New York State. You know, we are, are all you know, very, very uh, well-versed scholar practitioners. You know, we have all of our full-time faculty have doctorates. We are um, well published. We present, you know, both locally, nationally, uh, as well as internationally. Uh, we, you know, conduct research on a regular basis. We have special educators. We have psychologists. We have former school administrators who are part of the full-time faculty here. I myself have worked in the field, you know, for you know, 35 years plus, um, both in the classroom as well as in administrative capacities. When you come into our program and when you attend the class, you leave every evening with something that you can then implement the next day. You know, it's very practical, it's very results-oriented, and it's evidence-based. While we are a small program, a small department, we have the benefits of being in the School of Education as well as being you know, with Hofstra University. Mm -hmm. Hofstra University has a fantastic reputation uh, not just on Long Island, not just in the New York area, but you know, throughout the country as well as internationally with some of the events that the university has put on over the last couple of years, including the presidential debates. We have um, programs and, and coursework that is, is geared towards the, the working adult. Uh, we are graduate school program and our graduate classes all meet in the late afternoon and early evening, but we are also uh, developing online courses and many of our current courses are um, have online distance learning components to them and I think that provides a lot of flexibility to students. We recognize the challenges that uh, modern day graduate students have. You know, you might have family, you have jobs, you have a variety of different commitments and we look to work with our students as much as possible so they can be successful in our program. I can't count how many times you know I have been almost brought to tears by you know the 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 progress and and the and the growth that I've seen in students, whether it be a uh, a little toddler or a preschooler, or whether it be a, an adult who has learned how to just go to you know the supermarket and buy something for themselves, or that little that little four-year-old who's taking their first steps, um, even though they might have cerebral palsy. And I think that's what we try to you know, impart here at Hofstra University is, is the joy of being a special educator. And I know that my colleagues you know, share the same joy and the same passion. And I think our students uh, share that same passion as well. And, and we, we look for that in our students. You know, it, you, we look for that commitment, that drive, that motivation, that desire to help children, and especially those with disabilities in, uh, in the applicants. And, um, and I'm proud to say that you know, when they leave us, you know, they have that drive and they have that commitment more than they had when they entered.